It's always amazed me that a Democrat is actually running in that place and has been in how long has Tester been your senator in Montana? Like, I'm still amazed. I know some folks in Montana, and, and, I, and I think I kind of know what Montana stands for a little bit, and I'm going, what in the heck? There's no way he can be down or okay with the Democrat agenda as it is today. Because from what I've heard about this man, he typically runs as a moderate in that state. You would have to, I would think, to get rural Montana voters to go for you. So how the hell has he maintained power this long in a state that I would assume typically leans more independent and conservative? Well, Montanans fundamentally want smaller government. They want less yeah. government in their lives. They're really more of a libertarian electorate. That They want to make their own decisions. They want to decide what to do with their land themselves. They want to decide how to live their lives, what choices to make with health care. And the truth is, John Tester uh, is a very, very talented campaigner. He's a resilient candidate. He's not to be underestimated. He is a big government socialist who rubber stamps the Biden-Harris regime every single time. He voted to impeach Trump twice. He voted against all of Trump's Supreme Court nominees. Uh, he's as left as they get in D.C., but he's very talented at coming back to Montana. And with the help of Chuck Schumer's hundreds of millions of dollars of dark money, of which he's the largest recipient of, number one recipient of lobbyist cash of every candidate in America is John Tester. Mm -hmm. uh, they're able to, to shape a media narrative around him that he is this common sense prairie Democrat. And, yeah. and in fairness, Democrats, you know, 20 years ago when he ran, he's been in that long. They were a more common sense party. They were more worried about the working man. But you and I both know right. the Democrats have left the working man and woman behind in America, and they've adopted a radical agenda that no longer represents what's best for, for the working people. And, and that's what he's going to have to run on. He's going to have to defend his record as a big government socialist.